Hey guys, welcome back to the Art of Craftsmanship. My name's Dustin and today we are not in the shop. We're down visiting with my brother Derek and we're gonna help him do some rehab and restoration and kind of demo this little high low trailer behind us. Now he's gonna be converting it into kind of a mobile man cave, tiny house type thing. And you can follow along with his build on that and his restoration on his channel, which we'll link in the description below. But for now, let's head inside and we'll check it out and see what we have in store for us today. Hey guys, so this was the free 99 old RV had been sitting in the woods for six years and my dad found it online, towed it, got it titled, licensed and found out that the ceiling and the roof was just totally water damaged. There was a mess everywhere in here. I've already spent countless hours cleaning up just to get it to this point. But as you can see, there were cabinets up on the sides. There was uh, curtains here that separated everything. I started taking down some things because I just want space in here. Yeah. Because like we said, this is more going to be like a man cave than an RV. So I just wanted openness. Uh, and there's going to be lots of stuff we trans transform in here. But it had a, a shower, uh, a toilet, everything back here, a little changing room, uh, extra bed that you could turn into it. it has an oven, fridge, everything. Uh, it just needs to be remade. So we're going to take it down to the bones and then I'm going to create something magnificent. So this it. was, this was curtains. There were here curtains and here, here and here this whole area off. that came up like and you could slide it across. Yeah. So you could come okay, in the bathroom the and a changing room. There's a closet back here. Nice. Yeah. It's neat. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's... that would still be good. And then there's a little shower back here. We'll show you guys that. That's cool. Yeah. I like the idea of repurposing something that's already been built instead of just buying something new. Do you so, know any of this stuff? I'm not it's sure about the stove or working or the fridge, even though they all look like the lines are, are pretty clear still. Um, and the electric worked when we hooked a battery up to it. So it even has an air conditioner. I don't know if it might need a shot of Freon up top, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to re renovate it and, and see what I can make out of it. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. So we're going to be... We're going to be getting the roof... Uh, down to the bare bones, but it's down to it's got a metal frame up there, but a lot of the insulation and the wooden paneling, as you can see. So once we pull this out, is this is no going good. to be open? It's going to be the sky. No, because there's there's a, a thin metal sheet ah. over here that we can leave. Gotcha. But everything up to that that could be wet water damaged. I'm just going to pull out. Okay. okay. So now we're going to go to the back of the RV. Uh, back here is like the sleeping section. I'm going to keep most of this intact because it actually has really good hardware. And I think it's been designed really well. Um, the couch turns into a bed in a really unique way that I hadn't seen. I kind of thought it was going to slide, but instead you just kind of reach under the top part and swing straight <laughs> down into oh, a nice, crazy. nice bed, big enough for two adults easily to sleep on. Got your stereo system. Yeah, the stereo system still a little nice. dirty. Got a shop back for that today to work on cleaning it up. But then it also has the bunk bed for the kids. This is what I want to see because this looks cool. <laughs> yeah, so I have two kids who are going to have fun on this. But all you do, you pull the legs down from the side. And then there's a clip up top on each side. Lift it and it kind of just swings down into place. You put the legs in and set. Pretty simple. Oh, and nice. sturdy and uh, gets the job done. So I'm That's sure the awesome. kids are going to have a lot of fun on that. Like I said, I'm going to keep that hardware, but everything else is just going to come out and uh, restart and see what we can do with it. Make it we got some storage new again. here. Yes. Yeah, the, the um, a big drawer underneath the couch. All kinds of storage in this thing, you know, the way RVs were built. Here. Lots of stuff. And there's going to be some uh, changes I'm going to make. Like I said, I already took the cabinets down. I'm probably going to take some of this out. It was originally meant to be an extra bed that I'm not going to need and maybe make it a bench couch along the side. Yeah. So yeah, lots yeah, of fun things to that. try. Could, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a fun project. So nice. And the so you said the fan works on this. So the you, fan electric, works. Some of the electric. Does the electric work. does work. Uh, this is a propane fridge uh, and freezer nice. combo. So it probably works. All the wiring in there looks like it's uh it's still in good shape. There's even an oven and a stove, which probably also work. Um, oh, that's great. Uh, it'll be fun to find out. It's gonna be a fun project. Nice, cool. All right, well, let's see what we gotta do, and we'll yeah, get started. Get to it. Here we go, guys. There's the most important part of today's uh, demo. Make sure we keep those beers cold. Let me grab I got a couple of screws here. Let me grab my drill. Hold here. 
We're doing a quick beer break and we're just outside. So Derek's gonna tell us a little bit about uh, what's out here and what uh, different kind of components it has on the outside, what it runs on. Yeah, some of the things it might also wanna get fixed, but we got a couple of different compartments. You got one on this side and one on the opposite side. They go all the way underneath the couch bed on the inside. Uh, hold lots of stuff in there. The winding mechanism to help level it's under there. Uh, here it's got two refillable five gallon propane tanks under here um, that are used to work the fridge and um, and the heater system. Underneath here, if you can come around, it's a little hard to see, but this is where the battery goes. It lifts everything, including the hydraulic pump under there, which helps lift the high-low up and down from its positions. You can see the electric cords run from the battery up into the system. Under here is where the speaker system was from the inside. In here, I believe this is for the back of the fridge. On uh, off, yeah. the, the fridge runs off of propane too. Okay. So this is where you can kind of turn it off and on if you need to, to run that. Nice. Uh, this is where the fridge is on the inside, but there's uh, fresh water. I can put in here, portable water for the sink. Under that's here. That's an in? Yeah, this is a, uh, and in, I don't have the keys with me, they're in the inside of the RV, I already opened that up. This is the cord that you can plug in to any electric uh, station if you're camping. It also has a, an extra cord in here that runs up to the top there that plugs into where the AC was. Uh, you have the out water here, including the back of the fridge. And inside of there has all the propane system in there that works the fridge. Like I said, it's a little rusty, but it looks like it probably would work if I clean it up and try it. Yeah, you got to get the ants are up in here. Hmm? Ants? Yeah. Up in there. Yeah, I mean, once we get them down there. Yeah. You guys can see here where the ants have basically made a home up in the styrofoam insulation. Pretty crazy. Okay. So this is... It's already at four. Oh wait, we just have to, we're actually pretty close. There we go. Four oh eight, now your time is right. It'll be right for the next 45 seconds. Let's see if we can get it to start moving. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's in some places. Okay. You can see this is what it's supposed to look like. Cause it's yeah, dry up here. Dry up. <laughs> Pull the plugs in and it just wire nuts, I think that's that one. Plugs. Oh wow.
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Today was kind of a whirlwind, and it was kind of gross and grody in there, but we really got a lot of like stuff done just to kind of get all that wall paneling off and really get a good start on this project. Now, Derek's going to be doing this whole project. He's going to re redo this entire uh, high load trailer, and he's going to be following along in his own channel. Now, we're all working on a new channel. Yeah, we haven't come up with the right name yet, but... I have we want to do that. So we're going to work on that. And by the time this video comes out, we'll have the link in the description below so you can follow him and definitely see everything he does. Now, yeah, we're going to be hanging out this weekend. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be going on a sailboat race. Uh, all four of our brothers, me, Dustin, Devin, and Drew. And it's going to be great in Annapolis. I'm going to have a GoPro that we're going to be able to film the whole thing. So that's going to be on the channel along with an entire follow along of the RV renovation. So make sure you guys check it out. Just in case you got any kids watching that want to watch some kids stuff, the kids want to make sure we put in there, subscribe to GAO Gamers if you want to watch some kids being crazy and having a good time. Yeah, so if you know that my daughter, who's in the background, she's always kind of a shop elf in the shop. She was on their channel recently, and they did a video with kind of doing some fun animal like walks and stuff. So definitely check out GAO Gamers and subscribe if you're interested. Uh, also, another thing, today, uh, this is Friday, and yeah. today is our first podcast. So Devin and I are starting a new podcast for The Art of Craftsmanship. So definitely check that out if you guys haven't already. It's all about like making and being a maker and being an artist and just – the mentality that comes along behind that. And we'll also talk a little bit about our videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you subscribe and like and comment down below. Just let us know what you think about this and we'll see you guys on the next video.